I want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she is willing to risk her life beside me and make the long journey, I will take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I will go now. And end the life of Gorham Kjotvison where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. The Wolfga! So glad to see you. Castabo, my friend. Good day. Good day to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I'm Eivor. Randvi said you would be my guide. That is right. Passage to across the seas to St. Brenton's land, is that right? Randvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you will be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prized Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going. What have you got for me today? Nothing more? I'm off. Be well, friend. Until I see you next. Ready to set sail? I will leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in. We'll leave now. Three cold weeks in the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorham Kjotvison. The son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea?
Someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Yora of Jorvik. Yora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us? You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those carrots. Hildi! 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 We can't find Olaf. Look, he's ours, not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, he may know where Gorm is. Wondering, have you seen uh, Hilda's brother about? Nessa, is your ship headed for England? It is. Are you ready to head back? No, I must yet perform a few tasks. <sighs> Do not take long, as we. Olaf or the unlucky? Why are you sweet on the fellow? Is that it? No, no, just worried about him. That's all. Ah, uh, well. I have some bad news for you, lass. Gormer comes roaring up, shouting, What's all this? Who's been in my gear? And he stares right at Olafur. Oh, sweet Olaf. The poor man. What then? Was he all right? Olafur, he tries to run, but says, I weren't stealing, I was trading. But Gormer would have none of that. I can't bear to hear a nut. Grab a shovel from Gorm's storehouse. No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. It beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olafur stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. Got him storehouse. Good place to start. Smashed crates. Somebody crawled off, left a trail of blood. Helge, that fine honey meat you had. Pour me a horn, me too. I had ale for you, Auler, but no meat. Finding Olaf may be the key to finding Gorm. At least a helpful ally. Right there in the store. Horse hammer. Someone picked the lock and got away. I was hauled off. Could be a trail. Someone broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be Olaf went this way. Footprints. Might be Olaf's. This trail leads to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. What do you see, Sunim? seen such a place.
show me what lies ahead. Friends, do you, do, do we understand one another? Oya ganyatera ke heronu, joknohoda tigade igerungwe. Do any of you speak Norse or Saxon? Zatsadegwat gigerungwe, yate tsidewayanderi, yate yungwe herize onanzini toditni gohra di hantos ne gaa. Giga o zidaa, wahuna daro ne gigarungwe. Tigade na ne e. This is Sunin. Her name means insight. Yanja dahoe giga, zinue oya ganyatara keronu itres. Danu ahinasku. Ahoya dagenha toka ahuna darohage giga. Sunin, you made us some friends. These huts and clowns. Am I in Midgard still? Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Nine days, you hear me? There is a language I know well. But the words are mind-sick. Zatunde ga tiga, roja datkum. Zatsetsant doga askweni. Toner, era ancha da hawite ne gaa. Then I threw my eye in the well. This is wisdom. Sounds like the ranting of the seer. Who are you? Olaf, I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick! What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the Dragon. Please. I am not here to kill you. I have come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man, not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? My reasons matter not. Will you help me find him or no? Oh, yes, yes! Olaf is helpful. Olaf helps in your nameless feud. Olaf obeys. I will tell you everything. Even the secrets of Earth and Sky. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. It's something happened between you and Gorm. Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away, far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Or searching for something? Searching, yes. Always searching, and never finding the mean, mean backrot. 
And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Olav, will you tell me something? Anything Olavun can tell, Olavun will tell my new and big friend. Why would Garden cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is truth. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. <laughs> but my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <sighs> look! Out across the river! One of Gorm's camps! All look like that. All of them. They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you, as well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps, oh yes. You're not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olavur will help. Gather ore and heights to barter for war gear. Ore and heights? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps. ...and traded all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I do not understand their language. Can you translate for me? No need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here. He seems eager to trade goods and wares. God, the Jodadu! Ii walks with Eagle. Tena go da za duhun zoni? Njavo. Ne on ha a jo yonere. Ayo wo sa ye za da gen ha. I have to go. See you soon. into the woods, straight for Gorham. I'll gather raw materials and trade for better weapons.
Bottom's camps. I might learn where he's hiding. Or find some resources at the least. Hermes in these woods somewhere. Gone. He, he walks with Diego.
I should be cautious around here. Goran must be near. His doom has come. What's the problem? Something going on? What's that about? Are you watching?
Dat kahto na hoda wagat geru. O tena ga desa duhun zoni? Jo yanere zino hoda wasarago. Ne on ha la jo yanere. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Brendan of Clonfert, servant of our Lord, to make my final inscription before this holy fount of light. My journey is ended. For two and some years have I heeded the inner voice of my Lord, and followed it to this place, to receive his word. I have seen the gate with its ancient markings. I have heard the voice of his angel calling me beloved. Yet. The way did not open, his voice yet calls to me still, in blissful forms, torturous to me. Yet the way remains closed. My way forward is uncertain.
The guards here are vigilant. Bridgecliff camp may know Gotham's whereabouts. A camp near the village. Gotham could be there. Gana. O tēnā gan desa duhun zoni? A jā, vā sa jēzā jā da genha. I will see you... The Jodadu.
tat kahto no hoda wagat gero ne on ha ajoyanere i must take my
time. What once was, shall be, again. Gods, burn it all! Keep digging, mules. Power beyond measure awaits. Power beyond measure. Gorm, Kjordvison. Gorm, did you find Olaf the Unlucky? I did. I locked him away for thieving. When I return, I will see that the beasts of the woods pick at his flesh till his bones are clean. Nobody steals from me. Nobody steals from me and walks away breathing. What's going on? I crossed the broad sea for you, Gorham. Are you not flattered? <laughs> One reason only, I see. Uh, you snake. One reason only.
Wait. Wait. This is not the whole of 500 doors. This is not the Rock of the Fallen. Where are the women on the winged horses? Where are the choosers of the slain? You, my blood enemy. This is Niflheim, the hell of mist and cold. This is where the faithless dead come to die again. This is where ghosts fade to mist to be forgotten. Your meddling has doomed us all, Crow of Battle. More lies from a liar born. Now speak the truth. What brought the Order to this place? To free a goddess, a creature of power and light. Buried by the Jotna in ages past. A pity, Gorm. You will not meet her now. The probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. This... This is not for me. I should return to Olaf. He deserves to know what happened here. should not be seen in this area.
Skana. E e walks with Tigo. Yawa. I'm off. Be well, friend. No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? Uh, by your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time. Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki, rarundu de wasagohrori ne yotzi zizu, waharu hau toyedene zinuwe rodiskara gete junkuero takwani dehni zarugi totni dagwe ya dehni ganare ziosunwaya danu akwegu. Gasunwa Hunzi. Yotzi Zizu, Yagoda Denequa the Wagu, Danu Rarondo de Yasunne Yerde. Zokki, o sumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tu da yawasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. O sumagu, ya eyan da ne, ne yotzi zizu. Ziwa agoyan da haje, 
wa e na hadu ti na hoda wa ekweni nia dega derdege ya ehoe zi ya ea dat ne zi de jutsu wa gerdas Gods rahna raga dagwa gara duhas I do not understand. Ah, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son, Balder, died suddenly, felled by his only weakness, Mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Baldur. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did, but one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Baldur. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said, with malice. And that was that. Baldur was gone forever, sent on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgard, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise, a god he knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers, and that we Oh. <laughs> uh, that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Gorham brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yes, gods. Gwa, ras nu sage wa nit da hare. Da gwa weere ga? Take it and guard it. It may be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya watski, yeti sot hogun gaha. Aya za ha hara da, ratnar daga.
Jarl Rav Jordvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yorra is no more. My name is Eivor, a dringer of the Raven Clan. And my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf! Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olavusever. What is this? I had a long-standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs are not. Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There's no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gordon was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes. Oh, so well. And I may stay to linger one season or two with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf. In this life, and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far winds the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. Fate may bind my bones to this land, but for now I walk the sea. Seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. Well met, Eivor. Another dispute, I'm afraid, with Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun, Holger, come forward. You will state your cases, and I will hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse, defaced, with scrolls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You are well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Gudrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. 
The sailcloth was in such a state, and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see. So you feel Gudrun disposed of something and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly. Yes. All right. I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hog has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Gudrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You were not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? My Jarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I have known you, Holger, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holger the liar, you sink lower. You become Holger the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that, that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 sailcloths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay pranks, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest 30 is... 30 times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please. Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> Pleasure to see you. You've been away for so long. Were you worried? Of course I was. Such a long voyage. Did you do what had to be done? I did. And I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home. Good. I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a side you've seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid, but nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. It is done. Gorham is dead. The Kjotvisan clan is wiped from this world. Good. I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time. One day. Thank <laughs> you.